much of this, Greg Dyke, is centred around this man, Jack Warner, at the time the vice chair of FIFA. Why was the English bid trying to curry favour with a man like him, who'd been the subject for years of allegations of corruption? Well, I'm not sure they were. Uh, this, says, this report says it was, but Mr Garcia has now disowned the report. So I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't think you can take this report seriously now, because we did early this morning when it came and it was published, and then suddenly the person who'd done the investigation disowned it. Well, let's look at these specific allegations, though, because there are specific well, allegations detailed in, I, in the I, report. Well, I wasn't around at that time, so I don't know but, what, what but went on. But let's go through them, because you're talked, now in charge of I've, English yeah, football. I've talked to the people who were involved in the bid, and they say there was nothing there that they didn't put to FIFA at the time to say, is this OK? So, so you used to have staff still working there who were there at the time. They accept that what the report says did happen. Let's talk about those specific allegations. Would you have thought, if you'd been in charge at the time, that it was OK to help someone get a job in order to make nice with somebody like Jack well, Warner? Would I don't that have been OK? So. I don't think so. But as I understand it, that was a, someone doing a placement for four months. But you're weeks. not quibbling with the fact that it happened. And you wouldn't have so thought I'm that was OK. So I'm told it happened, yes. And would you have thought it was OK to host a gala dinner for £35,000 value? Well, what is interesting okay? is the Qataris ran a complete convention in Africa that cost them one and a half million. But we're not asking million. about the Qataris' behaviour. Well, as I understand it, as I say, I wasn't around at the time, as I understand it, that £30,000 was... They, they went to FIFA and said, is it OK but, if we do this? But do you think no, that no, was OK? No, no, hang on, you've got to understand. They went to FIFA and said, is it OK if we put this on? And FIFA said, that's fine. But do you think that was OK? Do you think that kind of thing... Well, I on a dinner I, for someone... I, I think the them? whole of the way football operates at that sort of level is suspect and has been for many years. I don't think FIFA is a straight organisation and it hasn't been for many but years. You have, but you do, have... Do, did, did we... The people I've talked to today who were involved in the bid, as I say, I wasn't, I wasn't around. The people I've talked to today who were involved in the bid say they didn't do anything that they think was unfair. Now, the question but you've you, got to but ask but is... You've just, no, said, the question Greg you've, got to you've just said, Greg Dyke, that you wouldn't have condoned the idea of helping someone get a job. You've still got people working at the FA who nope. were involved in the bid. Well, they weren't... They weren't should they, we they a didn't, higher standard? They didn't do it. Yes, I think you should. I think there should be a higher standard. But you've got to look at what was happening elsewhere. Well, why? Shouldn't um, you look at your own yes, house? Yes, you should Get look your at your own, own house but, but, in But you've also first. got to look at the whole of what was happening in football and how people were trying to win this. But I think you ought to come back all the time. All the things, I think not with the job, but I think everything else, they went to FIFA and said, is it OK if we do this? But the message you're sending is saying everyone else was up to dodgy business. Well, so it was fine for England to do it too. It's, if you can't beat them, join them. That's, that, that's your defence, really, isn't it? That... We were open and honest about what we were trying to do. It no, wasn't as bad as everyone more, else. More Therefore, interestingly is we were open and honest with Garcia in this report and we gave him all this information. And what is interesting is, in that report that was published this morning, the one Garcia disowns, in that report that was published this morning, the people that have been open and honest and given information to the investigation have been hammered. And the people like, the, like Russia, like the Spanish, like the Portuguese who didn't give information, they've got no criticism doesn't, doesn't at all. Doesn't this all, though, as you've suggested, football at this level has got something a bit fishy about it. Doesn't it all really stink? I mean, even you yourself yes. received a £16,000 watch as a gift from the Brazilian Football Federation. I mean, what's happened to the watch now? Oh, the watch is sitting somewhere. I, if anyone had ever told me it was £16,000, it would not be. It's been sitting in my office ever since. So it's sitting in your office. I mean, why didn't you stick it in an envelope, address Rio de Janeiro on the front well, and put it in the a post? Lot, or, we're or not here to talk about the watch, but I could do it if you wanted to. I, actually, I've given, it to, I've given it to a breast cancer charity in this country, is what I've done with it. And FIFA is still arguing about whether I can do that. So you, you are still going to do that? Well, that's FIFA the will let you. Well, no, that's what I intend to do. But are you in your own mind, resolved that the FA now has got nothing it needs to apologise for? Well, as I say, I wasn't around at the time of this bid. But, but you're the, the people, leader of English the, yes, football Yes, no, 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 let me finish. The people involved who were involved in the bid say quite clearly they are not ashamed or embarrassed about anything. And what is interesting is that they have been criticised for fairly minor things when actually there's evidence. If you read the Sunday Times articles about, for instance, the Qatar bid, there are quite significantly larger things happening. 
as you're in the process as you as you're here tonight as the leader of English football should Chad Evans who was convicted of rape be allowed to play for Sheffield United again well, I don't want to get into that tonight. I don't think that's what I'm here for. I but you're you, no, no, you the leader you, I, I'm of quite happy in England. To, I'm quite happy to talk about this. I don't really want to talk about Ched Evans. I think it's a, a much more complicated story than to have him five minutes here. But don't you have to take a lead? Well, people I, like Jess Ennis, here's, for here's example, Here's the straightforward said she doesn't question. want anything to do, do with people it who go to, Are people who go to prison entitled to, to come out of prison and try to rebuild their lives, or aren't they? Or is what they've done so bad, and because they're in, a, in an industry where they are image, their image is important? And that's the dilemma, and it's a dilemma, and it's not clear-cut. But I would like rather talk about this, if you but, don't mind. But, but it's an important issue, and it sounds well, no, from your not, answer there, it's you not would an important be happy... It's not an important issue. Uh, it it's is an important, important issue, but not in terms of what we were here and what you asked me to come on and talk about. Do you think that people will accept that you just don't have a view on this? Lots of people are very concerned. People no, like I think... Jessica Ennis, no, but what, like I would, no, what I would talk about is when you phoned me up and asked me to come on here tonight, you asked me to talk about this, not to us to talk about Chair And Evans. we have at length. But, Greg Tite, thank you very much indeed for coming in tonight. Thank you.